Chappers, how much for three of your meanest, baddest, ugliest looking machines? Oh, well, uh, let's see now. Uh, three hogs, uh, full loaded, uh, that's uh, 20,000 bucks. 20,000? <laughs> <laughs> All we got is 400. Oh, I'm sorry, gentlemen. I can't give you any kind of right for that little money. What can we get for 400? small animals. I really don't think that's a mouse. Oh, all right, all right, all right. I'll check it out. <laughs> don't you think you should take something with you?
mate? Where's mate? Here, Captain. Mate? Mate? Is that you? Aye, aye, Captain. Port is left! Starboard is right for the 10,000 times! Now you've got to touch the ship! <laughs> Write that down. Port is left. It's too late now! Okay. If we're going to survive until rescued, we need to find food, shelter, and water. People need more than food, shelter, and water to survive. I know, but that's enough for the first night. People need art. What? <laughs> what do you want to see first? Let's build an art gallery. Art is necessary. We need the essentials. The captain's right. First, we must build a cathedral. <laughs> for our spirit must be strong to survive the ordeal. God, he's babbling. What about our thirst? Exactly. Will you listen to him? Our thirst? For knowledge. Am I alone in the universe? We must build an observatory with, with a 200-inch telescope. This is not Gilligan's Island. No space program, no cathedral, no art gallery. I'm the captain and you'll do as I say. Now, the key is survival. We gather bananas, fish, clam. We build shelters out of branches and then... Once we got a fire going, we build a steel mill. <laughs> Tom, we gotta create jobs to survive. No, 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 The biggest Lalabar we've ever seen. Have we seen them all? Oh, decision, decision, decision. It's another mega-person Disney shot. And the porn relic. All right, no one move, for I am the Ultramind, the greatest evil genius in the history of evil geniuses. What do you want? Take this bag and fill it with all the bacon bits in this salad bar. No, oh, come on. You can't take our bacon bits. Without bacon bits, this salad bar is just a cold metal table filled with damp, flaccid rubbish. Hey, Mark, no, and yellow. No, don't touch our bacon bits. Do as I say, mortal, or your life will be forfeit and, and your, your wife will be forfeit three. Uh, I'll stop you, Ultramind. I'm the employee of the month. Ha, 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 ha. Ah. Oh my god! Ultramind is turning him into an assorted party train! Soon I will have all the bacon bits in the world, and seafood and steakhouse owners will grovel before me! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! What are we gonna do, Tom? I don't know how they get the olives and the mock chicken. No! <laughs> Oh, Mr. Canoehead. Mr. Canoehead. Once a mild-mannered insurance salesman. Who one day, while portaging his aluminum canoe in Algonquin Park, was suddenly hit by a yeah! giant bolt of lightning. Hit by lightning. You were hit by lightning. And had the canoe welded to his head. You're right. It's stuck to your head. And so began the story of Mr. Canoehead. Canada's greatest aluminum crime fighter. Brother of Ted. That way! Our story continues. Chef Pierre, your salad bar is the last one in the city that hasn't been robbed by the evil Ultramind. Please help me, Monsieur Bento Ted. All right, turn me upside down and fill me with ice and lettuce. Ah, springtime, when a young man fancy it turns to thoughts of boom boom. Oh uh, no, I want you to turn me into a giant salad bar. When the evil Ultramind reaches for my bacon bits, I'll swing into action. Wow, this salad bar is even better than the last one. Oh, if such a thing is imaginable. <laughs> All right. Everybody stand back, for I am the Ultramite, the greatest evil genius in the history of evil geniuses. <laughs> <laughs>
Hand me that bowl of bacon bits or suffer the wrath of my mayonnaise ray gun! Uh -huh. Not so fast, Ultramind. You can't take bacon bits without paying for them. This isn't Russia, you know. Canoe head! I'll use my mayonnaise ray and raise your cholesterol level till you die of a heart attack! <laughs> Ray gun has no effect on my aluminum hull. Okay, Mr. Smarty Hull, I'll reset for mock turkey. Ha 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 Oh, Monsieur Canoe, you have a seven-month bacon bits? Let's celebrate dinner's on me, everyone. <laughs> Next episode, Mr. Canoehead challenges the mutant Dr. Perm. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to know where cheese comes from? <laughs> Would you like to know where mustard comes from? No! And you're telling me you have actual footage of today's earthquake? That's right. I was shooting home movies down at the beach when it struck. I figured you might want to buy it. I do. Footage like this could be dynamite. I mean, this could be opening material. I mean, lead. It's, it's hot. It's topical. Hey, roll a uh, tape for the, the roll the tape. Let's see what we got here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Good. Uh -huh. Yeah. Is it the little late? Is this icy? Okay, stop the car, stop the car. Okay. Get out, get out, everybody. Now wave. I want to get out here and wave. Wave, kids. Wave. That's it. That's it. Tommy, you wave too. Come on, Tommy, wave. Wa Tommy. Okay. Wave as you walk, kids. Okay, come on. Keep on waving. Tommy, you wave. Don't be like that, Tommy. You wave too. It's an earthquake. Now don't panic, everyone. Stay calm. Keep low and wave. Keep on waving, that's it. Keep on waving, that's good. Wave, everybody. Hey, oh, you there! Wave! Good, good, that's it. Well, this earthquake is powerful. We can't take chances. No more going around. Everybody wave. Keep on... Tommy, Tommy, you wave. Oh, oh, power line's down here. Everyone careful now. Get there. Oh, it's a good shot. Now everybody wave. That's good. Wait a minute, where's Tommy? 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 Daddy! Daddy! Tommy, help! are you all right? Help! Daddy! Okay, then wave, son. Daddy, help! Wave! Good! Good boy! I think we have the plastic bucket and shovel to dig me out, eh, Dad? Are you going to buy our film? Of course not. It completely trivializes a great human tragedy. It's irrelevant, it's offensive, and it's completely inappropriate. I told you you should have waved! <laughs> a great movie last night. Oh, yeah? Which one? Uh, L.A. Trouble with Milt Murphy. Oh, yeah, I like that, too. Yeah, I heard it was good. Yeah. Well, that stunk. Well, I liked it. It was terrible. Had a jerky storyline in the acting, and it was awful. Not like it. Well, I guess, I mean, it wasn't great. But... It stunk. Yeah, I know. Hey, you. I saw a great thriller, Bludgeon. Oh, I want to go see that. Yeah, uh, I heard good oh, things. Oh, but... what a piece of trash. Oh? <laughs> oh, yeah, putrid, awful, effluent. P.U. White. Gee, I, I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. It was the stupidest, dumbest, most ignorant thing I've ever seen. Classic. It's a doorstop. No, I know what you mean. A lot of uh, the commercial films are like that, but I saw a Godard film that was really oh, something pure else. drivel. <laughs> I'm sorry, Paul, but I, I really liked it. Well, you're wrong. It was the worst chunk of cow leavings ever written. Oh, I'm sorry, but people are allowed to have their own ideas and feelings. You're not right about everything. Yes, yeah. I am. Really? Yeah? So why don't you tell us what film playing in town is so great? Swedish stewardesses, massage parlor mega vixens <laughs> in 3D. Yeah, can't argue with that. Yeah. <laughs> Hand me the welcome to the count there, Ted. Oh, yes, right here, Barney. Oh, oh, I have got to cut down on my smoking. I swear it's going to kill me. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> Look at me. Look, I'm lighting another one already. I, I am killing myself, you know that, Fred. Uh, did you want to go over those numbers with me? <laughs> Don't you care. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> Hacking myself to death. Well, I mean, my lungs must look like cold, black, rancid macaroni dripping with tar. And you do nothing to stop me. Um, all right. Uh, <coughs> Barney, you shouldn't smoke. I think I don't know that. I know that better than you, buddy. Oh, oh, you must really hate me. What? <coughs> to just sit idly by while I, while I do this to myself. Look at my, the joints of my fingers look like tanned leather. My, my teeth are brown stumps. My heart is beating an irregular bossa nova, and my, my brain is going into oxygen withdrawal. <laughs> <laughs> Barney, Barney it's, it's your choice. If I had a loaded gun pressed to my temples, you'd stop me, wouldn't you? Oh, look, I'm lighting another. All right, Barney, you really shouldn't smoke. It's, it's, it's bad. Oh was effective. You sure saved my life. Well, what do you want me to do? <laughs> Stop me from smoking! Oh, here. Give me those. What the hell are you doing? There, that stopped you. Oh, that was really effective. Good work on the stopgap measures, buddy. You just saved my life. Here, give me that. Hey, okay. what are you doing? I'll take all your cigarettes. Oh, no, I need these cigarettes. No, I'll have you quit. No, don't touch my parents! You don't need Don't them. touch my... I warn you! Oh, oh my head! Oh, your head? Oh. What about my health? Oh. I'm in serious trouble here, buddy. I'm bleeding. I'm just an accident. I've got a serious addiction here. I've got a serious problem. Yeah. Look out! Yeah. Yeah. Watch out, yeah. there's one right there! Yeah. 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 There's one, there's one there! Yeah, yeah, bro, bro. Watch out, watch out! Alright, Slow down, slow down! Okay. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, pardon me, ladies. I'd like to see your brassiers. Oh, sorry, that didn't come out right. I want to see the brassiers you have for sale. No, it's not for me. Oh, heavens, what must you think? It's a gift for my wife. It's her birthday. I know, why don't I have a wedding ring if I'm married? I work on a lathe, and I'm afraid I might catch it. I know I don't look like I work on a lathe. I teach at a community college metal shop. Anyway, I want a bra for my wife. She's about my size. I know what you're thinking, but it's true, really. There's nothing wrong with a man buying women's underwear. My wife buys men's underwear all the time. For me, not for herself. <laughs> I am just making this worse. That's what it is. Oh, here we go. Where's here? Right in front of me. I didn't even see them. Red's nice. Goes with her blue eyes. I know I have blue eyes. My wife's eyes are blue, too. It's not what you're thinking. Oh, and I better get some panties while I'm here. They're not for me. They're for my boss. <laughs> my boss is a woman. Really, she asked me to pick them up for her. I know you're thinking it's too much of a coincidence, but really, it is true. I'm sorry. Anyway, before you ring this up, I'm just going to slip into the dressing room. <laughs> no, not. It's not what you're thinking. I, I just want to check my shirt tails. This is awful. I'm just making it worse. That's all. I'm just putting my foot in it. I can't even open my mouth. I mean, I've come in here innocently to buy a nice gift for my wife, and now listen to me. <laughs> from now on, my wife can do her own shopping. <laughs> Cary Grant, the young man with the spiky hair and shiny leather pants. He's not too tall, he don't look rich, why does he catch your eye? How come you feel afraid of him? He's just an average guy, he's wearing nothing. Failure when you're wearing my 
his iron cross to give himself some power. He chose this image carefully to make the people cow. He's wearing show came up a little short this week. Don't want you sitting at home staring at nothing. So, um... I guess this means I have to go back to my cell now. <laughs> 